Hello everybody, Richard Neal again here. So we're doing the first round of the draft here for the deck that I just built. This uh, very weird like four color pseudo aggro. Um, it's almost like a, uh, a black, white, red with a small splash of green. Uh, we win the die roll here by a stomp with a six. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to say that we're going to play first. And we get a awesome hand. This hand is the stones. I have one of every color for lands. I have a fancy ace for turn two, a common bond for turn three, and a gleam of battle, which is the perfect synergizing card for fancy ace. Uh, we keep. Uh, we just we just keep. I mean, I know that I'm gonna be able to play every card I have because I don't play any cards that require double of any mana, and we have cards to play. That put us on a very fast, very aggressive plan. I have the possibility of swinging for six on turn three, which puts my opponent on a four-turn clock. Without an answer to fencing ace, this game will be over by turn seven, if not sooner, depending on what I draw. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop a uh, we're gonna drop the mountain first, just in the event we draw a Rakdos Cackler. This way we can pay, play the swamp to go with it. Otherwise, next turn we're going to be dropping the plane to go with it. There's no reason to really drop a forest on turn one because I don't have any uh, particular cards to drops, and that's that's a card. Um, well, uh, I guess he has a way to stop my uh, common bond now. Can't say I'm too happy about that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and drop the fencing ace. It wins in a battle against the judges familiar. And I guess we'll just uh, we'll wait until we have the extra mana open to pay for it. So, judges familiar. This guy's in Azurus. I'm guessing I'm going to see an island come next. He's going to swing for one first before he plays his land. No blocks because I don't have any flyers. And... Okay, so he's in Orzhov. Possibly Esper if he is playing the blue. I mean, you don't have to play the Judge's Familiar without... Uh, with, uh, with blue necessarily, but it definitely... Uh, synergizes well I mean it means that you just synergizes really isn't the right word it just it makes it your accessibility to play it much better at this point though I'm I'm racing him and I race faster I have a 1-1 one, one double striker uh, there are cards in black which give minus X minus X um, you know X being a specific number like fatal fumes which is minus four minus two so very easy for him to kill the fencing ace he could also very easily kill with just any sort of removal card. So we, we leave the mana open to do the common bond and see. Alright, so here's the option. I can common bond, save it, take two damage every turn and still be able to swing into him. Or I just let it die. Now if I try to common bond, he's gonna... He may or may not sack the judge's familiar. I think uh, I think we just let the stab wounds go and we let it die. Um, I mean, and there's a perfect example of what I've seen about having a card that just does things. And apparently, all I can draw is land, but that's okay. I'm not too worried. A judge's familiar isn't gonna kill me. Uh, <laughs> what am I saying? A judge's familiar is gonna kill me. Uh, <laughs> no, it's. I should be fine. Uh, I've got, like I said, I have lots of high things on my curve. I'm going to be able to play every card from this point out that I draw. So I, I don't I don't have a worry here. The The worst case scenario is I draw lands for 17 more turns. And he doesn't play anything because he's holding 5 removal spells. <laughs> I mean, really. Uh... And I'm not sure what this guy is thinking. He's probably looking at me like, man, this guy is on four color control.
He's got one of every color. What do I play that he could remove it at the end of the turn? He may be afraid of like a Whirly Ears Helix, or he could just be AFK. I have no idea, to be honest. So... I think the ideal thing I'm looking to draw here uh, would be... Well, the Carnival House D is sick, so that's not ideal for what I'm looking to draw. Um, ideally, I would be looking to draw... Probably the... Uh, Oh, I can't remember what the name of it. The bird that gets plus three, plus three every time a creature enters the battlefield. I think that's the card I'm looking for. Uh, although a splatter thug, anything like that is not bad. Like a splatter thug, because I'm going to unleash it. And then I'm going to play the gleam of battle. And it's going to turn him into a 4-3 first striker. And he's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I can just common bonds him. Well, guys, I'm sorry. Either it's bedtime for my opponent... Or he disconnected, and I get a win. And that's not very exciting. I mean, I liked my deck. Uh, it wasn't the easiest to build. I wasn't given the greatest cards to work with. But I still liked my deck, and I want to play it. And I don't particularly want to have to wait for uh, an entire round, because this ends in the next five minutes until I can play again, because everybody else is still going to have to play. But we'll wait here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll show up. To kind of review, um, for those who did go and watch the draft portion of the video, I believe that I tried to read into signals too much. I think if I kind of like just stuck to a color, I probably would have had a much more consistent deck. Uh, but it's hard when you're trying to pick the best cards and you're getting signals that one color is open in one pack and then the next pack it's not open. It's uh, It can be very difficult to, to deal with. And very difficult <laughs> to uh, determine where you want to go. I believe at one point if I had committed more to the green... And, oh yeah, he did disconnect, and now he's reconnected, so, yay! My opponent is here. And, pass priority. Please. Pass priority. Nope, has lost connected connection to the game again. Oh, well, this is disappointing. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hope that he reconnects. Yep. Nope. Uh, still losing connection here. Joined again. Pass priority. Well, I'm gonna ramble for a little bit then while we're waiting for him to figure out his internet connection issue about my ideas of standard. There is a GP Miami coming up here in about uh, about four or five weeks. It, the format is standard. I don't know if I'll be playing in it. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't have the cards to, although I know that um, the, the Magic community is so great here in South Florida that I could probably borrow the cards from various friends and get it taken care of. And uh, that is a Sin Collector. Mm. Well, there goes my Common Bond. Because that's going to come in now. He's going to take the common bond from out of my hand, and that's exiled forever. One of the great reasons why I play the card myself. Co it was my combat trick slash removal, and it was going to help me win the game. And, yep, you got it, bro. Yay, not a card that I wanted to see. But let's go ahead and let's get it out. Let's pass turn. Death by a Judge's Familiar. Gotta love it, guys, right? There, 
I, I don't believe I made a bad choice to keep in my hand. It, it curved out nicely. He just, he had the right cards. He, he had the stab wounds to deal with the fencing ace, and he had the sin collector to deal with the common bonds in my hand. Not that I was going to be common bonding anything. And an alms beast. Welp, that is a card, I guess. Let's go ahead and play it. Let's go ahead and equip it. I think that I lose here, uh, simply because of the Yalm's Beast. I don't really have an answer to it. No, I'm, I'm saying I don't really have an answer to it. I mean, my answer to it is Smite. And unless I, you know, don't block with the Rakdos Shred Freak, I let myself take 9. I'm going to go to 5, and I'm hoping to draw Smite. That is the, the scenario. I could potentially draw the Boros Battlemaster, and then he he never attacks or is able to block with it. Um, yeah, that's probably the ideal situation. So I block with the Rakdos Shred Freak here. I gain four life. I get an extra turn. I get well, I get several extra turns, and. Uh, I hope to draw the Boros Battlemaster and hope that he doesn't have a uh, a removal spell in his hand of some kind. And in before I draw land, Skyjack. Okay. I shall gain myself another 4 life next turn. And again, we hope to draw something of value to me. Yep, swing with everything. Um... Do I do I take it or do I do I block it? Hmm. So options are take four, go to eleven, or take six, go to nine. And I think we take it and we go to nine. Yeah, first strike, then another three, go to nine. Yep. And uh. We hope to draw something decent here. Or he's just gonna remove it. Mavob's that. Yeah, that's card. Um. Interesting. I don't know what we do here. We can take the maw, and we can sacrifice the maw itself. Like I'll, I take the maw, I swing in with it. He blocks, and I gain three life. He doesn't block, and I sacrifice it, and I give my daring skyjack. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we uh, we take, yeah. Let's go ahead and take that maw. Oh. Forgot to leave the combat step. Let's go ahead and 
sacrifice the judge's familiar. Please sacrifice the judge's familiar. I can't ask you enough. Please sacrifice it. Dude, come on. Aw. I got so excited there for a second. I thought he was actually going to do it. Block with the Elms Beast. Please block with the Elms Beast. Second main phase. Sacrifice in the Maw. Yes, for Value Town. Oh. Well, I forgot to re equip the Civic Saber, but it's okay. I came out so far ahead there, and ouch. Uh, yeah, that's game. Let's see, that's 9, 10, 11, 12. I go to 10. Uh, well, yep. Didn't see that game. So, what did we learn here? Pray that Wizard's Deck Shuffler is better than it normally would be. So... I mean... I don't really believe I have anything here. Uh, that's gonna... It's gonna massively change games and let me take over. Yeah, he's got multicolored creatures. I th yeah, uh, we're pretty much good with just what we have here. Let's go ahead and submit. Would you like to play first? Yes, I would. Come on, good hand. Come on, good hand. What's up? <laughs> How is that good? Oh, for the love of God. Welp. Yeah, wh why am I wh why am I even double thinking this? I have to mold this, and yes, I, I will keep this. Mold of five, no. I, I I have action here. I have I have like I mean, God, six lands in the smite. I can't believe that I really just drew that hand. That upsets me so much. I can't even explain. And of course, I'm not going to draw land this time around. Why would I? I drew land when I had land in my hand. I draw land when I have non-land in my hand. That's the way the world works. And let's go with the Sin Collector again. Nope, Judge is familiar. That's fine. Oh, thank God. I got a land. That's funny. I'm putting the saber on the fancy nace. Five turn clock, buddy. What you gonna do? Stab wounds. Stab wounds. Stab wounds. Make my day have stab wounds, please. Kingpin's pet. Okay, I still win here. Swinging at, at, at me, bro. No, you're gonna double block. Okay. Sure. You wanna double block? For that way, you could kill my fencing ace. I will be more than happy to gain a superior amount of card advantage here. Not only will I be able to kill off the... Yes! I love this guy! This guy is my hero. Like... Oh, you're, you're awesome, dude. I love you.
it doesn't really matter. There's the first strike. There's the second strike. Awesome. God. Uh, that makes me so happy. And I still have the saber. I still have the saber to go and make my MOA bigger. And he's land screwed. Good signs. Good signs. Okay, I missed the land drop, but you know what? That's okay. Because he, he's going to miss one too. Or he, he already did miss one. I'm going to swing for four. He's going to go to 12. And I'm pretty sure that I have this game. And he draws a guild gate, so he's still behind. He doesn't have any three drops, otherwise he would have played it last turn. And he's not able to play because Atlanta comes into play tapped. <laughs> Which means I get to swing with the Bronze Beak Moa here. Put him down to eight. I play the Armored Wolf Rider next turn. Whatever he creature... Oh, I play it this turn. Whatever creature he plays next turn, I just Traitor's Instinct. Like, doesn't matter what it is. If it's an Alms Beast, uh, I just... Just straight up here. Oh, I am so bad. Ugh. Oh, I can't believe you guys get to see that. <laughs> Oh. Well, he should be at 5, but I'm bad. It's okay. I mean, I guess I could have been bluffing the the spell since I have exactties on board anyways, but like right now he'd be at 5 and that's um god. <laughs> I really shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, it's okay. Stuff happens. So, now he either flashes in something, or he forces me to sacrifice a creature because he drew a card, or he's going to Fatal Fumes and kill off the Bronze Beak MOA. Annihilating Fire. Yep. Oh, he needed the double red for it. <laughs> and please tell me I'm not bad, and... Okay, yeah, I couldn't have played the... Yep, I know it's exiled. Thank you. Let's go ahead and equip that to him. Guys, it's 6-6 six, six now. It's like, a, hey, it's like a Titan, but cheaper. No creature yet, dude? Come on. I win here, right, dude? Please tell me I win. Thank you. Alrighty. Game three. And, ooh. Um. I know I can be more aggressive than this. Like, I know I have actions here. I know I can be more aggressive. Um... We'll keep. Uh, we're gonna keep for now. Um... I say for now. No, it's, it's either now or never, but... It's, uh... Like, I mean, I have plays here. I don't have to worry about uh, not having plays. 
uh, the only thing I, I really need to worry about would be not drawing a red source, but red is my greatest color source in the deck, so drawing a mountain shouldn't be hard. I have the black for the Carnival Health Seed, and black is one of my rarest, and I have the black for the Toil and Trouble, which I drew. So, overall, I think it's, uh, I think I'll be okay here. And I have the Court Street Denizen, which does function nicely with, uh, the other white cards I have. Unfortunately, at this point, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself in this. He's curving out much better than me. Uh, so, we'll just have to uh, go with the flow here. He's flying overhead, and there's not much I can do about that. There's my mountain, see? Right. So, overall pretty good. Let's go ahead and play the Court Street Denizen. Get a body out on the ground. If he wants to stab wounds the next turn, he's more than welcome to. Uh, and then Traitor's Instinct is end up going to be turned into a kill spell for the Judge's Familiar. Swing overhead for 3, put me to 16, that's fine. Cast a spell, extort it, put me to 15, go to 21. Nope, he's passing. Okay, so he's got an instant spell. Uh, we drew the Skyjack here. Do we hold it or not? Like, do, mm, interesting choices here. I can, uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, we play, we play a Skyjack here. Yep, your creature is tapped, bro. What are you going to do about it? Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put the saber on the Court Street Denizen. And we'll swing in for three. And look, already we're, we're catching up on him on damage. So, you know, I, I'm not I'm not worried at all here. I knew I could hit faster. I am hitting faster. Uh, the Toil and Trouble is going to be nice. He keeps playing lands every turn, so maybe I should have done it earlier. Like... What can happen here is I'm able to play the trouble and do a bit of damage to him, or maybe force him to sacrifice the familiar. But at this point, I do outrace him, and we'll just wait and see what he uh, what he plays. If I need to force him to waste the familiar, I can just toil so we'll let's play the mountain let's go ahead and combat let's swing for six let's see if he's got any tricks any combat damage that riot control probably i mean it gains him two so it nets him eight life Yeah, saw that coming. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I, I'm still, I'm still beating him overall. Like, I'm gonna, I go down, he goes up. It's fine. Um, do I trouble here, or or do I toil here? See that there's the things. If I toil, I go to ten. He swings at me for three, puts me to seven. Do I think that he's gonna use the judge's familiar to cancel that? Is card advantage that big of a deal to him, or should I trouble him for the two damage? The, with the carnival hell steed, I'm gonna be racing him. At that point, like I'm gonna drop it. I'm going to put it at 6. I'm going to swing for 9 next turn. So, 2 damage doesn't do me a lot here. I want to I wanna make him... Oh, he, he won't sacrifice it, the Judge's Familiar, actually, because... Uh, because he's going to see that I have the one open. 
So in order to get him to sacrifice the judge's familiar, I would have to cast a spell and be tapped out for it. Um, so next turn I want to do the Hellstead. Do I just toil here or do I trouble or do I wait and play it when I have enough lands to cast both? I don't have flyers, I don't have answers to flyers, and I need answers to flyers. You know what I realized, and I totally misplayed on that turn? Is I could have Traitor's Instinct the Kingpin's Pet. I could have put the Civic Saver on it, and swung for four, and a total of seven. And he would have gone down to... Uh, an additional four, he would have gone down to 11. But then he would have gotten it back with the saber on it, because I wouldn't have had enough mana. So, he's not playing anything that has haste. Like, I know that for sure. So, even if I go to 10, he's not going to kill me for three turns. So, I'm going to go ahead and just trouble here. Or toil. I'm going to... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take my two cards and open up my options here. So I draw a land and an armored wolf rider. Two things that wouldn't have helped me in the future um, and are not the answers that I was looking for. On a good side, it does help me out here because it means that I wouldn't have drawn those, and we're on a better course here, but it still leaves me no answers for his flyers. He's tapping out. Something big. Alms Beast isn't six. Alms Beast is four. What is six mana? Mob Ops is that extort. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's awesome. That's fine, I mean, that's awesome, it turned into a kill spell for me. Another flyer that I can't deal with.
back. Yeah, I just uh, I just straight up lose here. I, I don't have anything to um. He uh, he ended up carving out better than me. I think I misplayed with the traitorous blood. Um, not a hundred percent sure though. I mean, if I had traitorous blood, anything else I could have possibly attempted to uh, take over, but oh, wow, yeah. egotistical guy over here calling GG. I play the Sky Knight Legionnaire, I tap down the Steeple Rook, and then I have four mana open. Not enough. I would have needed the Traitor Spawn from last turn. Um, look at this guy. He's so impatient. Hold your horses, dude. Um, I could bluff here. I mean, there's just there's not a lot I can I can play the Carnival Hellstead and I can equip to the Carnival Hellstead and swing for eight. 9-10? Oh, wow. I could get him down to 4 life. But again, he's just going to he's just gonna swing back. So, I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's nothing I can really bluff here to, uh, to try to stop him. Alright. Well... Well, that was round one. Wasn't the best round, to say the least. Um, definitely that game one hand was absolutely one of the worst for, for randomizations. Uh, having a, a four land hand like that and then drawing three or four lands in a row. Not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to have happen. And he just happened to have the nuts. And... Uh... Uh, so there's just nothing really you can do about bad luck. He got bad luck in game two, couldn't draw the land he needed to, and was playing catch up from behind. Game three, uh, overall, I was uh, I was ahead at some point, but eventually he just he started pulling ahead with the flying, and I couldn't really do much about the flying, and. That uh, that ended up being it. I think uh, wasting the toil like I did was the, the bad call there. I think that uh, I should have waited on that, um, or else used it sooner when he had more cards in his hand. Uh, at least that way he would have tried to use the judges familiar to counter it, and I would have gotten something out of it rather than just you know causing two life and not having the cards I needed in my hand. Alright, I'll be back for round two guys, see you in a few.